Hello friends. I bet some of you guys recognize that rhythm. That is known as the cup song. And it was known as the cup song long before Miss Anna Kendrick sang, when I'm gone, when I'm gone. And I love that version, it's very catchy. Um, but this is a game that campers have been playing for years and years and years. Um, and before there was the cup song, there was the rock song. And I don't mean like rah, rock and roll, but like actual songs where kids would go get rocks and pick up rocks and pass rocks and the whole group would make a beat with those rocks. They're called stone passing games in school. Sometimes we do them with bean bags, um, but the cup one is cool because it makes a really interesting rhythm. So we're gonna learn the rhythm of the cup song today. Um, so go get the percussion instrument that you already have in your house. Make sure it's either metal or plastic. I like to use my plastic one. It's a little bit lighter than my metal one, but either way, these are durable. They won't break. So go ahead and get a safe cup. If you need to pa pause the video, please do that now and then come back when you're ready, okay? So here's my cup and I'm gonna turn it into a percussion instrument. Percussion simply means that I hit it. Okay, and not in a mean way, just in that's how the vibrations are made for this type of instrument. Um, a woodwind instrument you would blow into instead of hit to make it sound, right? Um, can you think of any percussion instruments that you know? Drumsticks, you could tap them together, right? A piano has a little hammer on the inside. When you tap the key, it goes bling and then the string vibrates. Um, drums, of course, are a percussion instrument, a triangle. Anything that you have to hit to get it to make sound is a percussion instrument, okay? So we're gonna hit the cup to get a couple different sounds out of it. And as we, we're gonna get different sounds from hitting different areas against different things. So can you, Hear what it sounds like if you trap the air inside. Okay, what about if you tap it on the table? That's the bottom of the cup. What if I tap the top of the cup on the table? Right, all different sounds. What if I, give it's more of a thud if I grab it, right? If I place it, all kinds of different sounds. Or I could even tap with my nails. Uh, we're gonna drum on it. Right? Some of you guys may have done those bucket drumming lessons that I shared. This is similar, but smaller, right? We've got a top, we've got sides, we've got a bottom, we've got a rim, all of that good stuff. So here's the pattern again. I played it at the beginning, but here it is again. That's about the speed you normally hear it at, but I'm gonna slow it down. tricky. Beginning's pretty easy though, so let's start there. I'm gonna say clap, clap, pat a pat. Okay, that's how I like to remember that one. So clap, clap, pat a pat. Try it with me. Clap, clap, pat a pat. Good. Now I'm gonna clap, grab, and move. When you watch this video, it might be moving to the wrong side for you, but I'm using my right hand and moving it to the right, okay? So it's clap, clap, pat a pat, clap right hand and move, okay? Now, I'm gonna bring this back into the video a little bit. The second part's a little trickier because we start going upside down and tipping the cup all sorts of ways to make a bunch of different sounds. So we're gonna clap. We're gonna take our right hand and grab it upside down and bring it to the palm of our left hand. We're going to tap it on the table. We're gonna keep turning it, put it in our hand again. If you've got a ring, it makes a little extra noise. Then our hand is going to slap the table. We're gonna pass it, okay? I'm still passing it to the right. I'm just crossing my left arm over to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that over there like we're in the middle of this song. So we've just done clap, clap, pat, a pat, clap, grab, move. Now it's clap upside down, tap your hand, table, hand, 
slap the table, pass it on. Okay, let's break some of that down a little bit. Um, let's start, we'll just start with our hand upside down. So we clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. Okay, clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. Again, clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. If you're making mistakes right now, that's okay. Totally normal. Clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. Again, clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. A little faster. Clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. Again, clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. Again, clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. A little faster. Clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. Again, clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. One more. Clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. Okay, if you made it that far, awesome. Let's put it with the other part, okay? So at that point, I was going at about da, 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 da. Here's my beat. So clap, clap, pat a pat, clap, grab and move. Ready? Clap, clap, pat a pat, clap, grab, move. Clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass. Hey, let's try it two more times and then I'll believe you've really got it. If you don't got it, rewind. Videos are awesome. You can rewind. You can say, Miss On, Miss On, wait. And you can do it at your own speed. Okay? Clap, clap, pat a pat, clap, grab, move. Clap upside down, hand, table, grab, slap, pass again. Clap, clap, pat a pat, clap, grab, move. Clap upside down, hand, table. Grab, slap, boom. Hey. Okay, now, without me saying it, okay, do your best. If you have a brother or sister in the house or mom or dad, maybe you guys can learn this together um, and practice passing it around as a small circle or even just as a duo. So... You would be passing it when you pass it to the right at the end. Um, when I've slapped the table and then I pass, then the next person, if I'm sitting across from somebody, I could pass it over to them where they could grab it. Or if we've got a small circle going, I simply pass it in front of the next person. I like to sit crisscross applesauce um, when I do that. So hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you get really good, you can do it and sing at the same time. That takes a little bit of practice. But... You can sing whatever song you want and put that in there. It's just a rhythm. There's no melody to it. It's just a fun rhythm. So I could sing. I got my ticket for the long way round. Or. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Mary. sing whatever. Um, I don't have any more pop songs popping into my head right now. All I've got is the, the basic go-tos. Um, but you try it. Come up with something cool. If you want to record it and send it to me, I would love that. Have fun. Percussion at home.